part of animal atlas children today i am going to talk about an animal which is very closely related to us we humans can you guess children what animal it could be i think you all might have guessed it yes it is the chimpanzee so today we are going to learn some amazing facts about chimpanzee which is a very closely related animal to we humans so let us see what are those amazing facts so first before we go ahead let us see a brief classification of this animal it belongs to the kingdom animalia it belongs to the phylum chordata it belongs to the class mammalia and the order primates the family is hominidae and its genus name is pan and the species name is troglodytes so till order our classification human classification and the chimpanzee classification remains the same it it itself shows that we are very closely related to this animal chimpanzees are not monkeys they belong to the ape family so which animals can be included in this ape family we have the gorillas orangutans and we humans are all included in this ape family so please don't think that chimpanzees and monkeys belong to the fa same family no they belong to different families now coming to the habitat of a chimpanzee the chimpanzees are found in savanna woodlands grassland forest and tropical moist forest of africa they are generally found there now this chimpanzee it is covered in coarse black hair it has a bare face fingers toes palms of the hand and soles of the feet as we humans have the chimpanzee also resembles humans in its physical features coming to the weight of this chimpanzee a male chimpanzee weighs about 40 to 70 kg and a female weighs around 27 to 50 kg so this is the weight of a chimpanzee now coming to these chimpanzees and their food habits they are omnivores i think you all know what is an omnivore an omnivore is an animal or an organism that eat both plants and animals so chimpanzees are omnivores they eat fruits plants and also they hunt others similarly they eat lizards frogs and even small monkeys so all these form the food of these chimpanzees fixed account for almost half of chimpanzees diet providing an excellent source of energy so the chimpanzees are very fond of fixed the gestation period of a chimpanzee is around 237 days that means the pregnancy period of a chimpanzee is around 237 days and you can see the picture here and i think many a times not the chimpanzee but you might also have seen monkeys carrying their babies on their back isn't it similarly the chimpanzee mothers carry their babies on their back for 4 years or more they remain close their whole lives that means they are always close with their babies now chimpanzees how do they communicate with each other they communicate with each other by panting barking or drumming what do you mean by panting panting means it is a sound that is made by these animals to convey whatever they want to others or by barking it is also a sound that is made by chimps to signal the other chimpanzees there and drumming drumming is to beat on the tree roots or they beat on their body parts so these are the ways by which a chimpanzee communicates with the other chimps infant chimps have a white tail tuft that disappears after their childhood i think you are all able to see here children see here you can see a small tuft over here a collection of something so there is a small tail tuft that is there when it is an infant that means when it is a baby but it disappears after the childhood chimps they groom each other what do you mean by grooming grooming is the practice of brushing and cleaning the skin of other animals so they groom each other and this is one way to show their friendship they comb and pull dirt and bugs out of each other's fur 
so this is generally also shown by monkeys also isn't it this we might have seen many a number of times so chimpanzees also they groom each other chimps live in fission fusion societies what do you mean by fission fusion societies it means the size and the composition of the groups will vary depending upon the situations the number of chimps that live together will vary the male chimpanzees they stay in one group throughout their whole life whereas the females join a new group when they grow up but most of the times they always remain in groups they spend majority of their time in small temporary groups of just a few individuals which is known as parties but also associate with a wider group called community if they are in smaller groups they are called as parties and if they are in larger groups they are called as communities chimpanzees get around by climbing and swinging through trees and walking on all four legs they also can walk on all the four legs called as knuckle walking but can also walk upright on two feet if they want to so when they walk on two feet they exactly resemble we humans a fully grown chimpanzee has five to six times the strength of a human being and are not meant to be pets so chimpanzees are not pets they are very powerful they are very strong chimpanzees use more tools for many purposes like breaking the nuts than any other creatures except we humans we use a lot of tools similarly chimpanzees also use a lot of tools so one example is shown here they use tools in order to break the nuts open to have their food coming to the life span of a chimpanzee a chimpanzee in the wild rarely lives longer than 50 years that means approximately the life span is 50 years but captive chimps can live more than 60 years that is the chimpanzees which are under the care of humans in the sanctuaries they can live up to more than 60 years the oldest recorded chimpanzee so this is the uh, picture of the oldest recorded chimpanzee that is the little mama which is a captive female who was 82 years when she died in 2017 so this chimp is the little mama it died in 2017 and the age was around 82 years at the time of its death chimpanzees make around 30 different vocalizations that means 30 different types of sounds the most common and loudest is the pant hoot a long distance call used for a variety of social reasons particularly for keeping in touch with fellow troop in order to communicate with its fellow uh, chimpanzees it generally uses different types of vocalizations one of which is the pant hoot chimps are observed to either reduce the production of these loud long distant pant hoots when approaching the periphery in an attempt to avoid detection and attacks by hostile conspecifics or they will display increased levels of pant hooting in an attempt to display dominance and the strength of the territorial that means whenever they want to convey the information to the other chimps they generally use these vocalizations chimps can be very aggressive children groups of males will plan and execute attacks on other chimps often causing serious injuries and fatalities so they are very aggressive some chimpanzees have been able to learn basic human sign language isn't it very interesting washo this is washo it is a captive female chimpanzee it was able to learn american sign language with the vocabulary of 350 words so this could learn around 350 words but in a sign language ever since researchers sequenced the chimp genome that is the dna of the chimpanzee in 2005 they have known that humans share about 99% of our dna with chimpanzees that is the reason why they are our closest living relatives that is the reason why we are very closely related to the chimpanzees the this lady shown in the picture is dame jane morris goodall 
she is an english primatologist and anthropologist who is a primatologist a person who studies about the primates an anthropologist is study of human societies and cultures so she is both an anthropologist and a primatologist and she is considered to be the world's foremost expert on chimpanzees and she has done her study on chimpanzees for around 60 years and uh, she witnessed human like behaviors among chimpanzees and that made her to do more and more research on these chimpanzees chimpanzees are classed as endangered on the iucn red list international union of conservation of nature it says that chimpanzees are on the red list that means they are in the endangered zone and the reasons for decrease in their number are habitat loss killing for bush bush meat that means because for the sake of the meat of these animals and infant pet trade so the infant chimps are traded that means they are exported to the other countries and are kept as pets for because of all these reasons chimps are found in the endangered zone so in order to conserve these chimpanzees in order to protect them every year july 14th is celebrated as the world chimpanzee day and in order to conserve these chimpanzees we generally in order to conserve these chimpanzees we uh, there is a sanctuary children called as the chimp haven and in this place the chimpanzees are conserved so now let us see a small video on how chimpanzees are conserved in this sanctuary two hundred acres of forest all the fresh food they can eat caretakers that cater to their every whim This is how Jimmy, Queenie, Mickey, and many others are living the good life, or as we like to call it, the chimp life. This is Chimp Haven. Here, chimpanzees retired from biomedical research get to live happy, healthy lives and spend every day however they choose. Chimps are just like us. And like us, They want to live life with friends and family and all that comes with it. Like the freedom to explore or just hang out. We provide personalized care, plenty of daily enrichment. And by getting to know each chimp's unique personality, we match them into social groups to develop lifelong bonds and become family. just like they would in the wild. Chimp Haven is now home to more chimps than any other chimpanzee sanctuary in the world. All because of the dedication of our care staff, the remarkable generosity of our supporters, and the belief that every chimpanzee deserves to live the chimp life. so i think uh, definitely every chimpanzee deserves to lead a chimp life and i think you have learned many amazing facts about chimpanzees that's all for today thank you